Excited for the weekend. <laughs> Another gorgeous day in the city. It's a bit chilly. If you come in here, definitely bring a jacket and no sandals. This is yeah, it's cold out there. Hey Mark! I know I'm showing you the buildings because the sky is so beautiful today. But soon it's gonna be all the people walking by. Everything is going on. Hey, Regina, how are you? <laughs> the original Nathan. I didn't know they have cars here. You want to see the people coming out of the subway? Wait. People coming out of the subway, starting the weekend. Out of that too. Okay, but we're gonna cross the street. I see. Central Park. Um, today is Yom Kippur evening, evening of Yom Kippur. So I wish you all a Gemar Hatima Tova. And that's why we started this walk a little bit early today. And tomorrow we're probably gonna have a later walk. We'll wait for Yom Kippur to finish. So, Gmar Hatima Tuva to all of you. Angelina, hi. Hello, yeah, Renetta. and a half mile. Yeah. Everything is green, still. Um, but temperatures here have uh, changed significantly, and now it's chilly out. So, although you're gonna see some people wearing like shorts and sandals, just note that it is cold outside and you should probably take a jacket if you're planning to leave your house today it's gonna get even colder uh, towards evening yeah central park is gorgeous and this is the perfect time to visit it's very crowded a lot of people oh this is you know this guy He's with the speakers, with the French music. We've seen him. He's like a famous character here in Central Park. I'm gonna walk by him, so next time you hear and you see him, you know. Oh, he's, this is this guy.
You heard the music? So every time I see him, he's on his bicycle with a speaker listening to his French music. And the lack of better description. Hey George! Oh, it's very iconic. It's the most relaxing place in New York City for sure because you get away from all the noise and the commotion and um, it's less crowded than other touristic places you find around the city although even here it can be very crowded like Sheep Meadow on a beautiful day you would not find a nice spot to sit on you're gonna have to come early for one Germany. Hello. Hope. I hope I pronounced the name um, correctly. <laughs> my friend is walking with. Oh my god, did you see this bird? Oh wow, look. Look. Shh. Come on. Okay, they're like a bunch of uh, tiny, beautiful yellow birds, but it's gonna be impossible for me to show them to you. They're really afraid, so I'll just keep on walking, and uh, if you're here, just keep your eye on them. They're really beautiful. Tiny yellow bird. Miriam! Oh, that's so kind of you! Thank you for writing it down. I really appreciate it. Um, so I know I'm talking to you some with private conversation and some people. Oh wait, like, sorry, I see a bunch of birds I've never seen before here and they distract me. Um, and then they, I know even if you don't try the, I don't know, it make you happy. And if you cannot come for a visit, um, this is like you're visiting here. I, I know all of it and that's why it's important for me to do it on a daily basis. Like sometimes I don't have the energies, but I'll do it anyway because I think it's important and I try to find out the best places each day and the events and sometimes I'm not in the city and then I'm debating whether to show you other places or not and I decided that even though I'm out of the city I'll show you wherever I am because um, you can find beauty everywhere you don't have to be in New York City to find beautiful places or nice people Oh, you know, so it's my pleasure sharing with you. Okay, I'm crying here. My friend, she's walking behind me. <laughs> Show you around here. Perfect sky. Hey Hanin, hey Ari. I know we are all excited for the autumn colors that are about to come soon. And we're gonna follow Central Park and see the change in colors. So we're gonna visit here often this during this period of time so you see some of the trees already change their colors this one has green yellow and orange but all the trees around him are still green hey Abed hey Samuela 
I think it's related also for the shade. The buildings are... Uh, okay, I'm missing a word here. But if the buildings are blocking the sun for some of the trees, I think it also can dictate the time they are changing the colors. So that's how you can see like one really orange tree changing its leaves surrounded by like a lot of green ones. And it also depends on the, the individual. Different individuals will uh, change the color at different time and depends on the species of the tree. Oh, the playground is right under here. It's a very safe place for kids. We have a fence all around it, so it's a pretty good place to bring your kids to. Bruno! Well, sometimes you see me. Here is the sun. You can see the sun. Sorry, it's like every person in this world. Sometimes you have lots of energies and some days you like I don't know. You feel low, but it's important to do stuff even if you're not feeling your best always. Yeah. Keep on walking, keep on doing. And whenever I call when, even if I have low energy and I'm out, I'll feel better immediately, so I know it will help me. In Bal, in Bal, you want to say hi to everybody. What? You want to say hi to people okay. on screen. Okay, are you ready? <laughs> okay, in Bal, my friend is gonna say hi to all of you. Hi this everyone. Is in Bal. <laughs> She's a very good friend of mine. They say so only the, uh. <laughs> so they don't know. <laughs> Can I tell them? Yes, yes. Yes, Inbal is expecting and we are all expecting with her to a new baby to come November. Right? Right, right. And he has to come while I'm still here so I can see him and say hi to him. Let's take her right. Hey, Lali! <laughs> He's saying hi to you. <laughs> hi, hi, hi back. Uh, we are going to have a Yom Kippur dinner with friends, which is always nice. Like basically holidays are an excuse to get with family and friends and eat a lot. <laughs> That's all what all the Jewish holidays are, are about. So we got some uh, babka. Let's show them the babka. This is from the bread bakery. We got one of the last two that were there. So if you are counting on getting your babka today, they are out. So it's warm and it smells really good. Wait, and the challah? And the challah. Yeah. Oh, and there's Look a challah. Challah. Oh, it smells so good. Can't wait to eat it. <laughs> and it's still hot. So it's hard carrying it without eating it. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this is the surprises for all later on today. Um, I think bye, bye, we'll stop I'm by here. Tavern on the Green. Or maybe the Sheep Meadow. When the weather gets cold, well, it's definitely easier walking when it's not so hot outside. Because some days were ridiculous. It's like 
you made a knot and you can barely breathe and the sun is burning you so it's easier when it's nice and cool out but like yesterday I didn't have like the proper clothes on me and it was very close, uh, cold during sunset um, it was windy and chilly and also if you ever go to Brooklyn Bridge Park or you're planning on crossing the Brooklyn Bridge know that it might be colder than, than other parts of the city it's an open area and it's usually windy there so if you plan and go there you should have a jacket even though it's maybe a hotter day than today Sheep meadow? Where are we going? For after sunset Oh yeah, you learned about uh, Yom Kippur? Yes Hey Elsie It is a fall day um, Temperatures wise and we have some leaves on the ground the colors are not there yet we are waiting for them to come everybody is like ah. um, there, there is um, I don't know if you know it but for the US you have a fall map so you can check online live updates about changing colors in different states uh, that's very good for you if you're planning on traveling somewhere and you want to catch the fall colors so you can plan your trip according to the situation of the leaves um, we're doing like a fall trip every year it's gorgeous uh, around New York you have a lot of options Hudson Valley is a really good option um, but you have to go there when it's like peak or near peak and then it's gonna be the most beautiful and you can find all this information online and uh, if you can just ask me and I'll share it with you in the comments oh thank you Sandy you too North Carolina mountains oh nice yes so I know some places already have um, change of colors we were in Connecticut not too long ago and there were plenty of trees that already changed colors there so even if it's not peaking, you're still gonna see some very beautiful trees, I'm sure. Okay, the sun is not working like for us right. right. even now. Like, like, like it's so far off. Either, oh, now you see the sky. I don't know if it's too dark for you. We're gonna walk to the ship meadow, see what's going on there. Say hi to Tavern on the Green. And, and it's gonna be a short trip. Cousin Bali's here and she's carrying a big baby. <laughs> so um, we have to consider her situation. <laughs> hey Dolly! Oh I know we are we all are today there is the first zombie crawl in uh, Manhattan um, around East Village they start at 6 they'll probably leave at 6.35 it's basically lots of people dressed like zombies and they just <laughs> <laughs> walking around Manhattan and frightening people um, it's a very good photo op so if you're in the neighborhood you should definitely check it out I'm gonna do yeah you can count on me to do one of these zombie crawls I'm not gonna do it on Yom Kippur Eve but I'm probably on the the biggest one is gonna be on um, October 15 so hopefully we can do that together so we'll see all the zombies in the city running around the streets of Manhattan Oh nice Sharon We are waiting, we are like anxious about it I don't know if it's the, that's the right word, anxious like I'd rather sit Okay, look at all the people on the bike, excited You know what, like, like looking mm -hmm. for like It's a thing It's nice here, whenever I get stuck with the board I'm like, <laughs> help me out here Okay, Sheep Meadow is not that crowded today. 
but it's Friday and it's cold. Colder. It's not that cold. It's colder. And okay, that's the sheep meadow. That's the big grass you see on the right hand. And Tavern on the Green is directly across on the other side. This is Tavern on the Green. Hey, Thailand! That's so cool! Unfortunately, I cannot read your name. on the green is always beautiful. Looks closed. Maybe they, oh I think they are having an event tonight. Looks like they're gonna have an event. Are you closed tonight or do you have a special yeah, we event? Are closed. We're having a private event. Is it a wedding? Sure. You don't know? <laughs> do you do weddings in here? Yes, of course you do. Huh. Basically every kind of party. Every kind of party? Birthday party? A really expensive yeah. one? <laughs> a really expensive one. <laughs> yeah, this is Tavern on the Green. Uh, you can see some of the sunset colors behind it. And this is not where we're gonna have our Yom Kippur dinner. <laughs> no. But I guess someone will. Someone will, definitely. <laughs> Yeah, we can start walking back. See the buildings. I know the babka. We should just still need it and then buy another. <laughs> there are no more babkas in Bal. We took the last one. Okay, guys. It's a short walk today. Um. Why it gets noisy? What is a ah? It's a beer. It's like a fancy beer garden, I'll say. Would you say it's a beer garden? It's having on the green. You can ask me. Yeah. Yeah. Fancy, fancy beer garden. It's fancy. Yeah. If you wanna have your wedding there, you'll have to. Book it two years. Oh my God! Yeah. It and it's gonna cost you a lot of money. Um, it's also the famous boathouse that people do. The like famous boathouse, it's uh, right next to the fountain, we always go by there. Yeah, also, this is uh, always, they talk about it in the movies. Yeah, it's a two year wait list. A, yeah. Already, yeah. And usually in the movies, like you have two brides and they're fighting about the date, <laughs> exactly. right? Of, no, I want to say, no, you want So, yeah. Uh, it's nice. The sun, the sun is, I know. Oh, you can see some of the sun here. It's like playing with the light. For some angles, it's just like black. Hey, Abba! Atem tzamim ayom, yom kippur. Gmar chatima tova, shana tova. Hey, Francis! Yes, okay. So, have a great weekend, everyone. Gmar chatima tova and Shana Tova, which is like Happy New Year and uh, we'll, I'll see you tomorrow night we'll find something I'll find something beautiful to share with you you can count on this so thank you for joining I'll see you soon bye